monkey of Montevideo. Whose sacrifice will eternally bind the oceans themselves to my infernal will. Arr! Depressed yet? Half as much as I'll be when Guybrush guts your diseased carcass with his voodoo cutlass, you doddering sack of scum. I wouldn't hold your breath waiting for any last-minute heroics, me dear. The last I saw of your mighty pirate husband, he was being torn apart by a school of my ravenous piranha poodles. All right, LeChuck, put down the monkey and back away from my wife. Guybrush! Arr! Three You've led me a merry chase, but soon the dread mysteries of these ancient simians will be mine, <laughs> and the seas will run red with the blood of my enemies. Har, har, har! <laughs> yeah, well, fight like a... No time to waste, Guybrush. Finish enchanting that sword before LeChuck completes his spell. I'm on it. One LeChuck defeating cursed Cutlass of Kaflu coming up. Now, where did I leave those handy voodoo instructions? They're pinned to your mast! Oh, yeah. That cut! Come to Guybrush, you spooky voodoo recipe you. Well, I had to sail six of the seven major seas to find the ingredients, but I finally finished the cut. Almost. Now all I need to do is find some fizzy root beer to spray on it, and let Chuck's as good as toast. The cutlass of Kaflu is the only thing that... Ah, the legendary monkey casket of Kauai. I'll never forget the horrible hula of Hades I had to do to get this thing. Is this thing sloshy? Or words you don't want to hear when you pick up a coffin. I wonder how you open this thing. Aha! A salty bottle full of root beer. I haven't seen one of these since before I had a beard. Bet this stuff will work wonders on my cutlass. Whoa! This city! Prepare to meet your frosty carbonated maker, LeChuck! Come and get me, a dirty and doily dipper! <laughs> Stop showboating and spray the sword, Guybrush! I'm not showboating, I'm... <laughs> Oops. Oops. Now we're going to die. Again. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, no problem. I just need to find a fresh supply of impossible-to-find voodoo root beer. I sure hope there's some on a lane ship, because mine's as dry as a bone. And not one of those wet bones. I'm talking a dry, dry bone. Hmm. I wonder what that does. Maybe Elaine has some. The cutlass of Kaflu is the only thing that can stop the truck. Elaine, my beautiful butter. What? I said, Elaine, my beautiful butter. My beautiful butter? I was gonna say buttercup, but you keep cutting me off. Oh, Guybrush. Now stop the chuckle, we're all dead. Elaine, you've got inordinately strong thighs. See if you can swing me that rope. It's not long enough. I've got a better idea. Spend several years at the side of Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate, without picking up a few tricks, darling. My ship! My booty! My collection of autographed sextants! We'll buy you some more sextants later, just stop the chuck! Ah, Threepwood! So good of you to join us! Saves me the trouble of having to sink your ship! Nothing can stop me now! <laughs> it's Elaine's barrel of light grog. It's like real grog, only without the taste of calories or debilitating blackouts. 
Hang in there, guys. We'll get you out as soon as I put an end to the chuck. Those roots could really use a trim. Let's see if we can cut back some of those unruly roots. There, much neater. <laughs> Let's see if these roots add anything to this horrible knot frog. Ugh. This root frog is bland, joyless, and jejun. It's also flat. Now that's some fizzy root frog. I bet it still tastes like monkey snot, though. It's a glowing, fizzy barrel of root grub. Okay, you barrel of disgusting low-cal goo. Make yourself useful. Booyah! Look out, LeChuck! Here comes Guybrush Threefoot's glowing sword of hot monkey vengeance! Chuck, do you mind? I'd be in the middle of an unholy ceremony here. Unholy this! Unholy this? Yeah, I know, but he didn't give me much to work with. Hey! Arr, arr. You can't defeat me that easily, sheep. Wait, what's happening? Is that how the cutlass is supposed to work? I don't know, it's so bright. What the heck? Woof! I, I... I'm human. That's debatable. Guybrush, quick! Finish him off! What? Oh, right! This is for the monkeys, LeChuck! What are you doing? Finish him! It's not me, it's my hand! It won't... Uh-oh. Guybrush? What? Don't worry. We'll have you up and sucking back a grog in... No! I don't! My beautiful pirate don't! I'll get you for this, you craven build rat! Sorry. I, I don't know what got... into me. Oh, this can't be good. You know, you really should have that look, that kid. Huh? The name's Nippikin. Davy Nippikin. Senior reporter, Keel Hollow Gazette. Welcome to Flotsam Island. Mind if I ask you a few questions? Actually, I... Great! What's your name, where'd you come from, and how'd you get here? I'm Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate, and... Pirate, eh? Well, I believe it when I see it, kid. Still, it'd be nice to have a real genuine pirate buckling his swash around Flotsam Island again. 
Um... Why, I haven't had an honest-to-goodness pirate story to write about in over six months. You're right. Yes, sir, Bob. Nothing like the promise of a good pirate story to get the old journalistic juices flowing again, says hey. I. Say, just listen to me prattling on while you stand there all wet and confused and whatnot. So, what's your story, Creepwood? This island looks, uh, lovely, but where can I find a ship? I really need to get back to the Rock of Gelato and find my wife. Well, there's only one ship here on Flotsam Island, but it won't do you any good. Why not? It's the winds, Threep Wand. The winds! Here on Flotsam Island, the winds are always blowing inward 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. It's a freak of nature, a fluke, a curse. Whatever you want to call it, the result is the same. Once you've landed on Flotsam Island, you're trapped! Are you seriously telling me there's no way off this island? Well, not by ship, anyway. The only person who I think might know a way off the island is Deep Gut. Deep Gut? What's a Deep Gut? Deep Gut's my secret source for off-island news stories. And it's a good thing, too. Without the Gut's uncanny inter-island scoops, the Keelhaula Gazette would never be able to compete with those snooty prima donnas over at the Flotsam Times. Off-island news? Hey, then he might know something about Elaine. Where can I find this deep gut? Hold on a second, pirate boy. Baby J. Nippikin doesn't go handing over his secret sources to every Tom, Dick, and Guy brush that washes ashore. But I can pay you, with treasure, from my ship. Which is probably at the bottom of the ocean by now. Look, kid, you seem like a nice enough pirate, so I'll make you a deal. A deal? Yeah. off island news is nice and all, but the fair citizens of Flotsam are getting tired of stories about faraway lands they'll never see again. Not to mention that I hate being beholden to this deep gut person. So? So I need some nice, meaty, local pirate news. I love making pirate news. That's the spirit, kid. You can translate that moxie into news-making pirate mayhem, and I'll hand you deep gut on a silver platter. Yeah, this'll be a snap. A snap. A snap. Ow! Attention. Club 41, Flotsam Island's most prestigious pirate organization, is no longer accepting new applications for membership. Thank you for your continued interest, and please go away. Card? Card? What card? Wind still sucks. Flotsam Island endures 1,138th straight day of unwelcome winds. Hey. Pirates plundering your palace? Buccaneers bashing your balustrades? Swashbucklers slicing your stomachs? Then you need Morgan LaFlay, Pirate Hunter par excellence. Great, the Pirate Hunter. I need that like I need a fourth nipple. I'm not sure whether this is late Rococo or early Creepy. Flowers. What a crummy sconce. Uh, I'd better pick this up before someone notices, um, trips over it. The doctor is busy. Bonjour! Oh, ho, 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 my nose! 
Sounds like he's busy. Holy screaming starfish! I think I've just found my ride off this stinking island. Not so fast, my well-coiffed friend. Who? Reginald Van Winslow, captain of the Screaming Narwhal. And you are? Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. Oh, really? What can I do for you, Mr. Mighty Pirate? Do you know anything about Club 41? Club 41? Wonderful place. I haven't been there since I lost my membership card when I seized the narwhal. How'd you end up on Flotsam? Same as everyone else here, lad. The winds! I was chasing some brigand that had stolen my hard-earned booty when all of a sudden Flotsam's capricious winds picked up my ship, shredded it to bits, and plunked me down here on her bounteous shores. Nice ship. Were you drunk when you built it? Ha, ha, ha. Good one, boyo. But I didn't build the screaming narwhal. It was assembled by a committee of concerned flotsam citizens. Were they drunk? No, but they had to use whatever floated ashore. Hence, the aforementioned constructed by Sot's look. Well, if you didn't build the narwhal, why are you the captain? By tradition, whoever knocks the captain of the screaming narwhal off the deck gets to be the captain until he's knocked off by the next guy. So all I have to do is knock him off, huh? Heave to and strike your colors! I've come to seize your ship! You have? Jolly good! No one's been man enough to take the screaming narwhal for over two years! Oh. He's got a really good attitude for someone who's about to lose his ship. Why are you so happy about me seizing your ship? I love a good challenge! Girds the mind and sharpens the loins, don't you know? Huh? Be seeing ya! I look forward to it! Prepare to be boarded then, Winslow! Ha ha ha! Bacon grease, boyo! Slickest stuff in the Seven Seas! Oh, crud! This jacket was an anniversary present! And now it's all covered with bacon grease. Man, is Elaine gonna be P.O.'d? <laughs> oh, dang. Hot, hot, hot! Ow! And now the dock is smoldering. Perfect! Hey, there's something in this sock. Club 41, probationary member number 37, Reginald Van Winslow. This should come in handy. Sheer, sexy, and playful, with plenty of support for the active pirate. Ali Yoop! Uh oh. a thing for me. Alphabet sale! You know anything about this pirate hunter? The flay? Ah, you'd best be steering clear of him if you know what's good for you. The way I hears it, his face is so hideously grotesque, most pirates slit their own throats at the mere sight of him. Right. Oh, really? I heard it from a friend of a guy. A friend of a guy who slit his throat. 
Why? Ahoy there, scruffy artisan. I'm Guybrush Streepwood, mighty pirate. Ahoy yourself. I be Gaffer Crimpdigit, pirate glassblower. How'd a crusty pirate like yourself wind up making little glass unicorns? Listen, matey. Glass blowing's every bit as dangerous as sailing the Spanish main. One false move with your glass jack near the glory hole, I get to kiss your eyeballs goodbye. I can? I'm not sure that's biologically possible. What can you tell me about Flotsam Island? Well, you probably already know about Flotsam Infernal Winds. But has anyone told you about the reefs? The reefs? Aye, the crystal reefs of Flotsam Island. Sharper than a dragon's tooth, they be. They encircle the island, shredding in a ship foolish enough to get caught in Flotsam's winds. Yikes. What's this alphabet sail all about? Well, it's the latest thing. I make unbreakable tubes in the shapes of letters, which can be used to create festive, illuminated business signs, novelty mementos, or lamps. Kitchy. Aye, very cap. Consonants cost 48 pieces of eight. But today I'm giving away one free vowel per customer. Would you like a vowel? I think I'd like one of those free vowel tubes. You'd like to buy a vowel, eh? Here you go! A U? What about A, E, I, O? Or even Y? All sold out. All we got is U tubes these days. Thanks for chatting, but I got a wife and arch nemesis to return to. Aye, who doesn't? <laughs> Alphabet sale. Free vowels while supplies last. It's locked. Arr, the only people allowed in me studio are me, myself, and I. Free vowels! Get him wild there, vowels! <laughs> oh god! Hi! Ah! Who are you? I'm Guybrush Streepwood, mighty pirate. And you are? Joaquin Jacinto de Mera Alfonso Deo. Treasure Hunter Extraordinary. What were you doing down there? Nothing. It looked like you were playing with dolls. They're not dolls. They're fully articulated porcelain power pirates. What in the name of Davy Jones's closet organizer are porcelain power pirates? They're the rarest and coolest action figures ever. I've been tracking them with the Porcelain Power Pirate treasure maps hidden in special boxes of Porcelain Power Pirate pear flavored breakfast suit. I've spent years tracking them down, and I've almost got the full set. How many PP Pirates do you have left? The only Power Pirate I have not found is the Ultra Rare. Impossible to find a dark ninja Dave with killer karate katana. I thought I might find it here on Flotsam Island, but I got scammed. Scammed? Jace, some guy in a plaid jacket with waving arms sold me a Ninja Dave map, but he just keeps sending me in circles. Mind if I take a look at that map? Take it. It's useless. I'll let you know if I find anything. You're sure this Dark Ninja Dave is a valuable treasure, right? It's the stuff that dreams are made of. Porcelain dreams. Did the wind shipwreck you on Flotsam Island too? Yes, but I came here voluntarily in search of the elusive Dark Ninja Dave porcelain power pirate action figure. What's that big pink pile of dolls? Action figurines. Okay, what's that big pink pile of 
action figurines over there all about. Those are my extra pink pajama pierres, the lamest and least valuable of the porcelain power pirates. I loathe pink pajama pierre with the white hot intensity of a million exploding cannonballs. Can I call you Doro the Explorer? No. Look! It's a Ninja Day figure with throwing star action! Quit. Okay, Guybrush. Give a little porcelain. Just close your eyes and go to your happy place. Ew. I, I didn't see anything. Sorry, must have been a leak. You know anything about this pirate hunter? Morgan Lefley? Only that he's the coolest privateer ever. They say his suspenders are made from the severed hooks of his pirate prey. <laughs> How's that supposed to work? I don't know, but isn't it cool? Hmm, curious. Smiling stands young Miss Mini Bombs. All the punch of larger mini bombs packed into a smaller package for petite pirate hands. You know, I better just take all of them. That's not going to work. Card? Card? Oh, yes, my membership card. Here you go. Very good, Captain Van Winslow. Here's your blindfold. Blindfold? Come now, sir. You know the rules. All probationary Club 41 members must wear blindfolds inside the club. Right. How silly of me. Very good, sir. Find the step. I've heard you make a mean grogatini. Oh! I'm so sorry. Oh! I'm sorry. What a fight! That was spectacular, Driftwood! Best pirate brew ha ha I've seen in months! I don't know what got into me. It was like my hand was possessed or something. Possessed, you say? Hmm. Sounds like there may be a follow-up story there. Keep feeding me these boffo pirate stories, Driftwood. I'll be handing over the secrets of Deep Cut before you know it. What the? You put one of those miniature swords with an olive in my grogatini. I hate those things. Printer's ink, the lifeblood of the newspaper industry, lovingly harvested from squid udders. Our pink pajama Pierre, you foiled me plans for the last time. Prepare to meet your maker in the ebon depths of the inky sea. Sacre bleu, is this the end of pink pajama Pierre? I guess it's true. Black really is slimming. Between the cool black tights and the dangerously pointy accessory, Pajama Pants Pierre is starting to look halfway collectible. What can you tell me about this Morgan LaFlay guy? Pirate hunter? Oh, he's a mystery, that one. How so? Stories about LaFlay started trickling in about a year ago. 
frightening, fantastical tales of a hard-as-nails pirate hunter with ice in his veins and death in his eyes. Spooky? Spooky, sure. But none of the stories jived. One pirate would testify to a daring escape from a red-bearded giant. The next would spin a yarn about a peg-legged midget. Either there's a whole fleet of pirate hunters sailing around calling themselves Morgan the Flay. Somebody's hiding something. Whoever built this jail really wanted to put the burr in the brig. Those eye carvings are creepy. Hear ye, hear ye. Owing to the unprecedented downturn in criminal activity on Flotsam Island, I've locked up the courthouse and taken a long-delayed three-month sabbatical. Please don't break any laws until I return, or else. Sincerely, Judge Rhinestump. It's an empty, smelly jail cell. Kind of like the ones back on Melee Island. Good times. It's an empty, smelly jail cell. Kind of like the ones back on Melee Island. Good times. Unicorns! Get your hand-blown glass, unicorns! should probably come back after he's done with his patient. Alphabet sale! Jungle sure is noisy. <laughs> I wish I were the mightiest pirate ever. So far, so good. Jungle sure is noisy. <laughs> this looks promising. <laughs> so far, so good. sort of hideous sacrificial rites were performed on this ancient altar. Hmm. Tastes like chicken. Someone already dug up this treasure. Dark Ninja Dave with Killer Katana Cutlass waits stealthily for famed out of shape pirate hunter Joaquin Doro to find him. Hello again. 
I... Stop doing that! Great news, Doro! I think your map isn't a ripoff after all! It isn't? But I never found anything with it. You must have been reading it wrong. Here, follow me! And... X marks the spot. See? I told you I could find it. Whew. Huh? I better start digging. I hope it's not as deep as the other ones. Madre de Dios! Dark Ninja Dave! With Chilicara de Gardana! <laughs> Dark Ninja Dave! Dark Ninja Dave! Finally! The full set of porcelain power pirates is mine! All mine! Ow! I got dirt in my eye! My ears deceive me, or did that portly pirate just dig up a buried treasure? He sure did, with a little help from Guybrush Threeboy, Mighty Pirate. Well, that's fantastic! We haven't had a good buried treasure story in weeks! I'd better catch up with that wheezy primary before he has a coronary, or worse. Start talking to those boobs from the Times. Snappy pirating, Threepwood. Keep this up, and the secrets of Deep Gut will be all yours. supposed to be taking. Never mind. Good thing Winslow's undies have so much crotchal support. Please. You'll have to be a lot sneakier than that if you want to knock me off, lad. Oh, I wouldn't say that. What? Clever boy. Well played, Master Threepwood. Or should I say, Captain Threepwood? Captain? Aye, now that you've bounced me off the screaming narwhal, you're officially its captain! Until someone else comes along and knocks you off! Sweet! Aye, bloody well sweet it is! Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some massive internal hemorrhaging to attend to. Congratulations! I just got a tip there's some kind of one piracy going on around here! Not just any wanton piracy, a genuine ship seizure committed by none other than Captain Guybrush Streetwood, mighty pirate. Uh, Guybrush is one word. Wonderful! I could probably get a week's worth of stories out of this. You know, Threepwood, you've got spunk. Pirate spunk. Ew. Now why don't you take a walk with me back to the keel hauler? Tell me a little bit more about yourself. Well, it all started back on Melee Island. And that's how I wound up here on Flotsam Island. Well, I don't know how you did it, Seapwood. But thanks to you, I've got enough sordid swashbuckling stories to keep the Flotsam Keel Hauler Gazette afloat for months. 
That'll show those bozos over at the Times. Yeah, that's, um, great. Now, about Deep Gun. My pleasure, Creepwood. Sit tight while I make you a copy. Copy? Tammy, give me a copy of the Deep Gun file. Pronto. Right away, Mr. Nipper King. Here you go, kid. Everything you need to know to contact Deep Gun. Don't let anyone know I gave this to you, okay? Uh, my editor will put me on deep cover in the obituary beat. Catch my drift? Not really, but... Great! Now, if you'll excuse me, Ace reporter Davey Nippikin's got some headlines to grab. Finally! Now I can ask this deep gun person how to get off this island and back to Elaine. Hmm. Seems simple enough. whether this is late Rococo or early Creepy. Hello! Ah, my spleen! Yeah, I think I'll try again later. Alphabet sale! What's a deep gut? Welcome aboard, sir. Then Winslow? What are you doing here? If it's all right with you, Captain, I'd like to stay aboard as your first mate. I don't know. I really don't... Jolly good, sir. You won't regret it, mark my words. Now, if you'll excuse me, I believe some of my stitches have popped. I'll meet you here if the winds ever change. A cheese wheel. Monster. Yeah. Still, maybe I'll find some starving rats who will eat it. One of those spiffy new Hungarian easy action cannons I've been begging Elaine to let me buy. Whoa, the wind's really doing a number on that cannonball. Unicorns! Be beautiful, unicorns! According to this, it's Sunday, the 12th of Manatee. What's the word? Deadline. Welcome, Guybrush. The Voodoo Lady! Boy, am I glad to see you! I've got so many questions- There'll be time enough for questions later. But first, hand me the Lachuk Slayer. The what? 
the cursed cutlass of Kaflu. Now that Lechak has been destroyed, the cutlass must be ritually dismantled in a soul-chilling voodoo ceremony to ensure that his evil never reawakens. Yeah, about that. I tried to destroy LeChuck with the Cutlass, but I had to make some last-second substitutions, and there were some complications. What manner of complications? Well, the Cutlass didn't so much annihilate LeChuck as it turned him human. What? I couldn't believe it either. Personally, I think it's a trick. A human LeChuck. This is troubling. Can you help me? I'll do as much as the fates allow, but I fear that you will not like what I have to say. Can you tell me if Elaine is okay? Hmm. The view is hazy. Ask again later. Later? But she could be in danger! Or dead! Or worse! I only know what the spirits reveal, Guybrush Treepwood. Then what in the name of Satan's comb over are you good for, you bloated old sea hag? What was that? That was the Pox of Lechak. Uh, who, who, the what now? The Pox of Lechak. When your improperly enchanted cutlass turned Lechak into a human, all the evil voodoo juju within him had to go somewhere. Were you touching him at the time? I was. Does that explain the antisocial behavior and the crude gestures? Yes. Some of Lechak's evil has seeped into your hand. Do you have a cure? No, but I know where you can find one. I feel a piratey quest coming on. To eliminate the parks of Lechuk, you must seek out La Esponja Grande. The big sponge? La Esponja Grande is no ordinary sponge, Treepwood. It is a legendary sea sponge with incredible voodoo exfoliating abilities capable of absorbing limitless quantities of voodoo mojo. Where can I find it? I have never seen it myself, but a former friend of mine, Coronado de Cava, spent many years searching for it. I last saw him in the Jerkbait Islands. Take this locket to him and tell him I vouch for your character. I'll get right on it after I find Elaine. That would be unwise, Guybrush. The pox of Lechuk must be eliminated before it spreads. Whatever. If you can't tell me about Elaine, can you at least tell me where Lechuk is? Without a mark of the voodoo on him, Lechuk's whereabouts are a mystery to me. Can you help me get off Flotsam Island? I've got a ship, but it won't do me any good with these crazy winds. I'm afraid the winds of Flotsam are controlled by forces beyond my control, Guybrush. Perhaps someone in town can help you. Do you have anything to stave off the pox of Lechuk? This hand is really starting to annoy me. The only way to safely deal with the parks is La Esponja Grande. What else can you tell me about the Pox of Lechuk? It's a creeping cloud of unstoppable evil, spreading Lechuk's accumulated vileness like a disease across the seas. Ugh. Even now, I can sense the Pox wending its way to this very island. Tell me more about this locket. It was given to me by my friend, Coronado de Cava. Why do you keep putting dramatic pauses around friend? Was Coronado... Yes, he was my boyfriend. Icky. We met in the Jerkbait Islands many years ago. I fell in love with his treasure hunting mind and his beautiful eyes. He fell in love with my voodoo charms and my supple... La 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 la! Not listening! Like a volcano! 
But after several months of ocean steaming passion, our love cooled after he became obsessed with the myth of La Esponja Grande. When we parted, he gave me that locket. Sad and disquietingly graphic. Well, this has been disturbing, but I've got an island to escape, a wife to find, and apparently a giant voodoo-sucking sponge to hunt. May the fates guide you, Guybrush Treepwood. Knock, knock. Guybrush, don't. Who's there? No. It's me, Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate. It's me, Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate. You fool. What? I've spent months crafting a pyrite parrot of Petaluma, and you've ruined it before it was finished. Now I'll have to start all over. Sorry. Hey, if you're done with this, can I have it? Fine. It's of no use to me now. Who's the studliest pirate in the whole wide world? It's me, Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate. <laughs> What's this? Ah, the spirits have guided you well. That is a bottle containing an ancient scroll left behind by the Vecalians, the former inhabitants of Flotsam Island. Ancient scroll, huh? Do you think it can tell me anything about these messed up winds? Perhaps, but first, you'll have to figure out how to break the unbreakable bottle I've sealed it in. Unbreakable bottle? Why would you do that? Some secrets are too dangerous to fall into mortal hands, Threepwood. Anything else you want to tell me about this scroll in the bottle? I purchased a scroll from a bitter old pirate named Magee. Make of that what you will. What's this? That is a shrine to Noah Treblig, keeper of the crossroads. Hey, I bet one of those creepy voodoo books could come in handy. This is not a lending library, Threepwood. Merely intoning the titles of these forbidden tomes can inflict a curse on uninitiated tongues. Yeah, right. Can't you use all the magical gunk in these bottles to cure my hand? The pox of Lechuk can only be cured with La Esponja Grande. What's this? I recently found this contraption in a swamp. I have yet to plumb its mysteries. That really puts the die in diorama. Wonder what's in- Don't touch that! It's where I keep my... unmentionables. <laughs> it's locked. Yes, and it will remain locked until it's ready to reveal its secrets many moons from now. Frozen chicken gizzard, frozen newt eyes, snake venom popsicles. Yummy. I guess this thing fell off the roof when I had my little LeChuck episode. I should get shouty more often. Hmm. Looks like the wind gods of Flotsam are pointing that away. Hey there, three point! Do you mind if I get your pirate on the street?
sweet opinion about the Death Cloud? Death Cloud? The Pox of LeChuck? The Pox of LeChuck? Hmm. Pox of LeChuck. Nah. Two on the nose, not a pizzazz. Death Cloud is punching. More on your face, more. Ooh, I'm gonna die. Well, I got sick pirates to interview. See ya. Hi there. Are you a doctor? Mais oui. I am the Marquis de Singe, former court physician to King Louis himself. And who might you be? Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. Zut Your hand. Yeah, I seem to have come down with something. This is fantastic. We must investigate at once. Hmm. Très intéressant alors. And you say your sick little hand has a mind of its own? Yeah, it keeps hitting people, making rude gestures, doing all sorts of stuff I'd never do. Well, not without a really good reason, anyway. Fascinating. So, can you fix it? Monsieur Sripwood, you have my word as a former physician of the court of King Louis that by the time you leave here, your misanthropic hand will never trouble you again. So, how did a dazzling urbanite like yourself wind up in a sleepy pirate island like Flotsam? Ah, mon ami, that is a tale of triumph and tragedy. Many years ago, I was a young physician in the court of King Louis. Those were eighty days, tending to the many ills of the aristocracy, navigating the scandalous palace intrigues. I was a rising star in this scientific firmament. And then? I mean, then? A conspiracy of jealous scientists. Excuse me of performing inhuman cross-breeding experiments with the Queen's poodles! Scientists can be so catty. Uh, the King was outraged and ordered me exiled on this deserted tropical island. Deserted? Well, then you were the first? Oui. Happily, my solitude was short-lived, as the merry winds of Flotsam have conspired to bring me many new pirate patients over the years. Scientifically speaking, what do you think is the cause of these crazy winds swirling around Flotsam? Ah, yes, the winds. Personally, I'm convinced that they are a rare but perfectly natural meteorological phenomenon caused by a Lagrange inversion of the atmospheric humors in the upper troposphere, causing a counter-cyclonic... Ah, uh... forget I asked. Incroyable! So, Doc, what's the verdict? Ah, oh, monsieur, you are a very lucky man. I am? Ah, oui. The disease spreading through your saucy little parrot hand is like nothing I've ever seen before. That doesn't sound very lucky. In fact, somewhere in that easing appendage may lie the secret to life itself. It may? Hey, nice going, Han. I'll know more after I cut it off. What? Hey! But of course, Monsieur Sripwood. The only cure for a hand that infected is a quick, clean amputation. Amputation? Isn't that a little rash? No, it's a very big rash, which is why we'll have to amputate. But not to worry, monsieur. Your hand won't feel a thing thanks to my specially concocted rogue anesthetic. Ow! Now, if you'll just relax here a few minutes, I'll be in the back sharpening my petit guillotine blade. <laughs> We don't want to cut off our hand with a dual blade now, do we? Well, I guess you have a point there. Au revoir! What a loon! But at least my hand seems under control for a while. I'd better figure out a way out of this tastefully appointed abattoir before the Marquis de Crazy Pants comes back. Don't fail me now. Score one for the pirate with the pointy feet. I hope this works, or I'm about to throw away a perfectly good key. Jacques! Bad 
Chunky! After I take care of Monsieur Sweepwood, it's back in the box for you! Listen, Monkey, if you and I work together, we can both bust out of this joint. What do you say? Are you with me? <laughs> That's the universal symbol for yes. Huh, a stack of pictures. This looks like it might do something interesting. That looked unpleasant. Let's see what this does. Bananas from heaven! Thanks, Banana God! It's a stack of pictures for that picture in beginning device over there. It's a cute little bell that makes the monkey play with that picture machine over there. Alright, feet. Make yourselves useful. Alright! A gross picture of my grosser hand. Things are looking up. Whoops! I meant to do that. Magnetic monkey! I had a dream like that once. Only it was an iguana, not a monkey. And instead of a key, it was an ice cream cone. Plus, I was in my underwear for some reason. Wow, he seems excited about something. It's a cute little bell that makes the monkey play with that picture machine over there. it. Come on, you magnificent magnetic monkey. Gotcha! Now, to work the key into the lock. Ta-da! Monsieur Sweepwood, what do you think you're doing? Get back on the table at once. Sorry, Doc, but I think I should get a second opinion. Thanks for numbing up my hand, though. All that flailing and slapping was getting on my nerves. Wait! Wait! Stop! I must have your beautiful justifying hand! Come back! Slovenly parrots! Leaving their trash floating all over the place! Hmm... A parrot hunter, eh?
I'm Guybrush Streetwood, Mighty Pirate. And you are? It's Hemlock. Hemlock, Mickey. Uh, you! Me? Couldn't leave old Hemlock alone with his grog and his tattered dreams, could you? What the heck happened to your legs? You mean, <coughs> aside from some Egypt <coughs> getting a poor old pirate involved in a deadly bar fight? <laughs> um, yeah. Four words. The Marquis de Sand. The Marquis de Singe cut off your legs? Aye. Not only once, of course. He cut off the horse leg seven years ago after I stuck me toe while investigating the winds of Prussian Island. That seems kind of severe. I sometimes I think that Auntie Kit has it in for me. You were investigating the winds of Plotsam Island? I. I've been trying to suss out these zany zephyrs since I <laughs> washed up here. I even found an ancient scroll that promised to lead me to all the answers. No. I. But I couldn't figure it out. I got so frustrated that I kicked one of those statues out in the jungle and stuffed me toe. When I went to that butcher de Sange, he cut me leg off! Ooh, harsh. Without two good legs, I couldn't explore anymore. So I limped into Club 41 and started up a long-term relationship with a keg of grog. Can I see your ancient scroll? Pray not, Skippy. Some two big bits stole it from me in a poker game a few months ago. Oh, do I make good without my eye of the manatee, though? Keen. Can I borrow it? Now, why in the name of Neptune's head nails would I let you borrow this priceless artifact of a long dead civilization? If the singe does have it in for you, I might be able to use it to wreak some sort of piratey revenge on him. Ah, fine. I can't use it anymore, anyhow. Thanks, Hemlock. I promise you probably won't regret this. Free vowels! Get him wild there, vowels! I'm back. Aye, so you are. What can you tell me about this bottle? Arr, that be one of me special unbreakable bottles. Unbreakable? Ha! Ah, there isn't a bottle alive that's a match for my gift for destruction. Impressive. The sacred ingredients are those jagged crystal reefs. They're tougher than diamonds. Weird. But what do you do if you want to open one of these unbreakable bottles in order to, say, look at an ancient scroll you've cleverly sealed inside? Arr, that's a good question, lad. Here, I'll show you how it's done. I use this little beauty to chip off flakes from the reefs and to crack open bottles like this one. Whoa! So let me get this straight. Your unbreakable bottles are, in fact, opened by breaking them? Don't get cute, Blandy. I break other things too, you know. Again! 
amazing how many of life's problems are solved by indiscriminate cannon fire. Promising. Promising. So far, so good. Hmm. This looks promising. drawings supposed to represent the wind? Interesting. Promising. <laughs> Darn. So far, so good. Gods of Flotsam are pointing that way. This looks promising. Are those drawings supposed to represent the wind? Uh oh 
Someone's coming. I never thought I'd have to come out here again. But it'll be worth a temporary fluctuation in Flotsam's wind to get my hands on Sweepwood's uh, hand. <laughs> hands on his hand. How troll. What was that all about? And what's behind that door? Maybe I can move the door by pushing on this giant crystal nose. <sighs> nope. Looks like I cut off the door's nose to spite its face. Sometimes it's all I can do to save a little face. to volunteer your hand to the advancement of science, I have nothing to say to you. For now. Does this look familiar? Where'd you find that? It, uh, fell off that creepy ancient door in the jungle. An ancient door with a manatee head in the jungle? I have no idea what you're talking about. Sure, sure, but you might want to check it out someday. Looks like it could be pretty interesting, scientifically speaking. I'm heading back there now to break through the door with my piratey wiles. First, I'll need some dynamite. Uh, then a rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle, and then some sort of rudimentary lathe. <laughs> He'll never open that door without my key. Still, I'd better follow him from a safe distance, just to make sure he doesn't upset my long-term plans. Uh-oh. that Monsieur Sripoud has found the Vecalian Port du Vent. Naughty little parrot boy. Hello! Is anybody in here? Hmm. How silly of me. Sripoud would never be clever enough to get through that door. I am too clever enough to get through that door. Or at least make him think I am. Just had a really weird idea. Ah! It's me, Garbor Streetwood, Whitey Pirate. I've got a mission for you, little parrot. Go to the other side of this door and open it from the other side. Okay, little champion, open the door. Stupid bird. And yet there's still something downright charming about it. De Singe? That's the Marquis de Singe to you, ruffian. Well, I thought you should know that I'm heading back to the jungle to try to open the door again. Oh, uh, really? Yes, really. Ciao. Come out, come out, wherever you are, Monsieur Sweetwood. Is anybody in there? Ah, it's me, Garbo Sweetwood, Whitey Pirate. What? How did he... Uh... I can't believe he fell for that. This looks like it might be useful. Who's the cleverest pirate in the whole wide world? 
It's me, Skyverse Threefoot, Mighty Pirate. Holy ships! Threefoot! Well played, Monsieur Threefoot. You have forced me to reveal the location of the hidden temple. But, without my help, a simpleton like you will never be able to figure out which of the so-called wind gods must be summoned to master this ancient wind control device. And I will reveal nothing! That's a wind control device? Thanks for telling me. You didn't know? I can see it's time for this Marquis to take matters into his own hands. Still blowing in. Looks like I've got some ancient wind gods to summon. I wonder if that idol can be used to summon wind gods. God of winds that knock off your hat. Sweetwood, cease your amphisted fumblings and surrender that hand. Make me. Still alive. Cheer up these gruesome carvings. Jeez! Eh, nope. Still menacing. Oh, and now my cheese wheel is staring at me. but this idol's cheesier than ever. I wonder what 
wind god that was supposed to... Ew. Broken wind. Got it. Sweetwood! Step away from that delicate machinery and give me your hand. And if I don't? What a grouch. I didn't do whatever I was supposed to do. Oh, weird. Oh, Santa Maria Conchita Alonso. I knew I should have worn my chinos today. Ah, that must be the wind that makes you reconsider wearing shorts. Hmm, no sign of the marquee. Good. All that shooting was giving me a headache. Figure out the final wind idol thingy and get the heck straight wood. Oh, jeez. How'd you beat me here anyway? <laughs> Once I heard the sir change in the winds, it was child's play for a scientifically trained intellect of my stature to deduce which of the four winds remained. Hey, look! It's King Louis the Twelfth! My liege! I thought you were dead! What was that fooping sound? Beats me. Now if you'll just stop waving that rifle around, I've got some winds to change. Not so fast, insignificant parrot person. Sacre merde! Come back to bite me in the fundament. Well, I'm sure it'll be fine. Zut alors! The winds! Do you have any idea what you've done? Without the winds of Flotsam bringing me a steady supply of injury prone paradise subjects, the pace of my groundbreaking experiments was slow to a crawl! Talk to the hand, sicko, cause the pirate ain't listening. Ugh! Mark my words, Threepwood. You'll rue the day you cross the Marquis de Singe! And your little end, too. Rue? I don't know the meaning of the word. 
Well, looks like my work here is done. I better hurry back to the screaming narwhal before the flotsamites get wind of the, um, wind. Ben Winslow, where are you? Right here, sir. Raise anchor and get us the heck out of here before the winds change. With pleasure, Captain. Sir, the screaming narwhal has successfully escaped from Flotsam Island. Where to now? Mr. Van Winslow, if you would be so kind, I would like you to set sail for... Come again, sir. I said set a course for... Oh, come on! Come on board, sir. ships all covered with tar. This is all your fault, you know. Ow! Winslow? Captain? Just go where I point. Oh, come on! Ugh, stupid box hand! Yo! What the... Mr. Winslow, make way for <laughs> the Rock of Gelato. Aye, aye, Captain. And get me some grog for this hand. Finally, the Rock of Gelato. Now to find Elaine. Mr. Van Winslow, my spyglass. Aye, aye, sir. Elaine's ship looks pretty good, considering that it was exploding the last time I saw it. But where's my ship? And Elaine? Is she out looking for me? Is she still in the Chuck's clutches? Is her beautiful bloated corpse slowly rotting at the bottom of the... Hey! What's that? Winslow, enhance the upper right quadrant 50%. It's my ship! Winslow, full enhancement! Elaine! I'm coming, Plunder Bunny! Wait, what's that? Oh no, it's LeChuck! Elaine, look out! Plunder Bunny? Guybrush Threepwood! I've been waiting a long time for this! Um, could you wait a little longer? 